Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union. Quarterfinal action. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking off the Randolph Galloping Ghost. Hazen comes in number one seed, Randolph number eight. Lance All with Call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Michael on tech, Casey on camera. Opening tip, controlled by the Galloping Ghosts. Shot, early shot taken. Miss, but rebound. Turnaround, Randolph. Still can't get it to go. Rebound, Moody. Up ahead, Sullivan. Laflamme, turnaround, short shot, doesn't go. Rebound by Randolph. Ethan Davignon with the rebound. Pass out. Davignon looks over here to the side. Hanford off on that one. There's a shot that goes down, though. I didn't see who made it. I'm going to give it to, uh, he had his hand raised. I'm going to give it to Chase Higgins. I think that's who got it. I was looking down at my notes, trying to get a number. Morrison inside, blocked down. Comes Randolph. Going inside, splits the defense, kicks it back out. Dribble back in, back out. Great passing here by the Ghosts. Xavier Hill comes down, 6.50 left to go in the first. Randolph up two zip right now. X back out, Gabe Mitchell. Hands off to Moody. Mitchell over to Laflamme. Laflamme looking to dip it in. X inside off the glass. Xavier Hill knots it up at two with 6.25 left to go here in the first. Student section comes alive on the far side. Here's Hanford inside. Takes an off-balance shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. Morrison. Xavier Hill over to Laflamme. Laflamme wants to work inside. Pass inside. Gabe Mitchell waits, hesitates, blocked down. Gets it back. Morrison takes a short shot. Doesn't go. Rebound Davignon. A lot of height inside with Davignon. Davignon's going to take a long three-pointer. Nothing but next. 5-2, Javignon. Xavier Hill inside, throws up an off-balance shot, draws the foul. I believe that is our referee, Ed Clodfelter, with that call. Going to send Xavier Hill to the line. Shooter's touch on the first one. Fenton Meyer in, Ryan Morrison out for the Cats. Capacity, and I am talking capacity crowd here at the Den tonight. Xavier Hill good on both his free throws. 5-4, your score, Randolph up by one point with 5.40 left to go here in the first. Talking with Coach Hill, nervous about this one. Doesn't like the quarterfinal games. Looking to get to the odd. There's a turnover. Not sure who Hanford was looking for in there, but X up off the glass. Xavier Hill, six. Randolph, five with 519 left to go here in the first. Bobs and weaves inside. Short shot doesn't go. Chase down in the corner. No, it's going to go out of bounds. Going to give the ball to Hazen. Hazen comes in with the number one seed, 18 and three overall. Beats Stowe 75-33 to get here. Randolph, number eight seed, 11 and 10 record. They beat Woodstock 62-47 to get here. So number one versus number eight. Hill, baseline, nowhere to go. Back out to Laflamme, over to Mitchin. Meyer tries to set a screen. Gabe goes up. Can't get it back up again. And we're going to get a foul. Gabe just so big, so strong inside. And two quick fouls, two quick fouls on Chase Higgins, and he's one of their main guys out there, so...
And we're having clock issues one more time again. There it goes. This has plagued us uh, lately. We played uh, Randolph twice this season, January 10th. 183-42, that was here at the Den. February 14th, traveled down to Randolph, beat them 66-41 that night. Winner of this game goes on to play the winner of the winooski Virgens game. Uh, Thursday, February 29th, down at the odds, 6.30 p.m. So these teams looking to punch their tickets to the odd. Mitch had misses his first free throw. Off on a second one. Rare couple of misses. Chased down by the rebound, though. Xavier Hill, turnaround, puts it up off the glass. Doesn't go. Knocked down by Randolph. Gardner up there. Has it go off his foot. Keeps control of it. Davignon. Langlois in here. Gardner, top of the key. Gardner, nice cut inside. Shot and a foul. Beautiful cut by Chase Gardner. Nice give and go. And Morgan Mitchell's going to check in. Fenton Meyer out. He scores 7 6 right now. Gardner makes it 8 6. Randolph with 4.05 left to go here in the first. Tight game. Hill off the glass. Let's go. Rebound Morgan Mitchell. Randolph crowd wants an over the back call. Doesn't get it. Dabbing on. There's another long three pointer. Hits nothing but air. And foul called on. Foul called on Sullivan Laflamme, his first. Randolph looking to increase their lead. Langlois, pass down low. Driving inside, throws up a shot, doesn't go. That was kind of a wild one from behind the hoop. Up ahead, Laflamme doesn't get it. Hazen crowd wants a call. Randolph will retain. Or no, Hazen? Hazen's going to get it now. Hazen's going to get it now. I'll tell you, Randolph travels well, and uh, we got a full house here. And <laughs> pretty intense up here in the crowd tonight. Xavier Hill off the glass. X Man. So quick. Gardner, pass over. Shea Fontanella, dipping underneath, loses his footing. There's going to be a foul called Ben Hanford going in underneath. Foul called on Gabe Mitch at his first. Randolph with the inbounds from underneath their own hoop. Inside. Back. Turnover. Morgan Mitchell gets it to oh, whip. Nice pass. Sullivan Laflamme wide open on the far side. Pretty pass from Brendan Moody. Sully had slipped in behind the defense on that far side. 10-8 Hazen. 2.35 left to go in the first. Back out. There's a three-pointer. Doesn't go. That was Gardner trying that three-pointer. Hazen's going to get it. Up ahead, Morgan Mitchell. And Fontanella leaned into him. He's going to get called for it. Caught him on the way up. And that's going to send Morgan Mitchell to the line, shooting two. Mitchell off on his first free throw. 
Fontanella is going to come out. Jack White goes in. Morgan Mitchell good on his second free throw. 11-8, Hazen three-point lead for the Cats with 2.14 left to go here in the first. And knocked out of bounds. Hazen creates a turnover. Here's Moody. Randolph pressing. And they're going to call Hanford. They were kind of trading paint all the way up. Hazen on the inbounds here on the near side. Gets it back to Laflamme. And referee's calling this real tight. A little bit of a bump there by Davignon. And there are five fouls. We're going to be shooting foul shots now. Sullivan Laflamme at the line. Our officials tonight, Rob Green, John Diebold, and Ed Clodfelt are calling things pretty tight out here tonight. Violation. Line it up and try again. Short on that one. You can tell the violation kind of got in his head, I think, a little bit. The pistol getting ready to check in. See what our freshman Jamison Lamar can do once he gets out there. Hanford, spin move. Inside. Nowhere to go. A lot of Wildcats in there. Xavier Hill. Xavier a little, little strong on that one. Used the bazooka when he should have used the cannon. He's looking ahead. One thirty-one left to go here in the first. A little bit of a scoring drought right now, but Cats still up 11-8. Inside. And I believe if I can get a number, that was, uh, I believe that was Davignon with that one. 108 left to go here in the first. Cats up by one, 11-10. Inside X. And I don't know how he got that shot off. The guy was right in his face. 50 seconds. 13-10 is your score. Cats up three. Looking inside. Turnaround shot. Is good. Four. That was uh, Jack White with that one. Mitchett inside, X. Avier Hill will not be tonight here at the Den. 12 points tonight. 15 seconds left to go in the first. Cats up 15 12. X got a hand on that one. And we're trying to find Davignon inside. Fenton Meyer in, uh, Gabe Mitchett out. Randolph looking at inbounds underneath their own hoop. Nine seconds, a lot of time. Pass inside. Turnaround goes up short. Rebound Hazen. Gonna have to push. And with point eight, X looking for Brendan Moody down low. which will fall short, and at the end of one, what a game so far. Cats up 15-12.
here in this quarterfinal action from the den here at Hazen Union High School in Hart, Vermont. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Michael on tech, Casey on camera. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Once again, winner of this game goes on to play the winner of the Winooski Virgens game, game, which is going on right now. That game will be Thursday, February 29th, 6.30 p.m. at the odd. Hazen comes in number one seed, 18-3 record overall. We beat Stowe 75-33. To get to this game, Randolph came in at the number eight seed with a record of 11-10 overall. They beat Woodstock 62-47 in their opening round of their playoffs to get here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we played them twice uh, here at the Den on January 10th. Uh, came out victorious that night, 83-42. Played them again on Valentine's Day down in Randolph. Came away victorious that night. A little tighter score, 66-41. And it's pretty tight out here right now. It's 15-12. Got somebody uh, from Indiana. Get Piston, huh? Wow. I like that. Chiming in on the YouTube chat. Let's get ready to start the second quarter. The pistol running point for the Cats. Hands off to X. Back to Jamison. Near side. Got some shooters out there with Brendan and the pistol and X. Fenton Meyer and Morgan Mitchell underneath. X hangs. Man. The way he can just hang off balance, put that shot up. Randolph swinging it. Looking for something. Dabbing on. Goes in, goes back out. But they foul off the ball. That's call on Fenton Meyer, I believe. Randolph will inbounds underneath their own hoop. 7-16 left to go in the first half. They trail by five. Having a little trouble hanging on to the ball right now. Davignon. Back to Gardner. Over here on the near side, Hanford inside. Nowhere to go for Davignon. Throws up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Hazen. Morgan Mitchell, the rebound. Randolph pressing. Hanford got a hand in there. Moody. Looking for X. Over Meyer. Can't get it to go. X man gets the rebound. We'll set it up and go again. Bodies hit the floor, no whistles. Back out wide open for a three. Nothing but net for Chase Gardner on that three. 17-15 your score, 6-12 left to go. In the first half, give and go. The pistol, firing. Jamison Lamar. He's a freshman. Increases the lead to four. Turn around. Behind the back dribble. Nice move. Driving inside. Throwing it up off the glass. That's Jack White. So my pen runs out of ink. X. Cannot... Xavier, I am in awe of Xavier Hill right now. He's just taking it to a whole other level. Mitchell gets a hand in there. Can't quite control it, though. Knocked it away from Gardner. And we've got Gabe Mitchell and Sully Laflamme checking in. Uh, Brendan and Fenton will come off. Chase Gardner comes off for Randolph Fontanella in.
Davignon with X on him. Passes over, Fontanella. Drive inside, puts up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Lamar. X. I'm gonna give it back to Hazen. 4.59 left to go in the first half. Cats up 21-17. Foul call. Foul called on Tanner Langlois. I believe that was Rob Green with the call. Langlois comes off. Luke Tucker Shepard in for him. A lot of whistles. Ed Clodfelter ringing up Ethan Davignon on that one. UConn two, they're saying. Let's see what happens here. Crowd wanted a five count. Laflam throws up a wild shot, doesn't go. A bunch of blue jerseys around. Back on D. Three-pointer. Ethan Davignon with a three-pointer. Cuts the lead to one with 4.30 left to go here in the first half. Got a hand on that one. X going to take a three. Can't answer back. Rebound. The pistol was in there. Comes back to Laflamme. X going to take another three. Doesn't go. Knocked away. Knocked away by Davignon. I mean, he's trying to say it went off. One of our guys, but David's not had him by six inches up there for the reach. I don't know. Morgan Mitchell, inbounds. X, turnaround. Block down. X is down. Back up. He's fine. Fontanella, shot from the foul line. Goes off. Here comes X. 3.55 left to go. Drop pass over Laflamme. Holds up, gets it back. Morgan Mitchell at the foul line. Comes back out. Set back up. Here's the pistol. Runs into a double team. Crowd wanted a, a uh, travel. Morgan Mitchell inside. Can't get it to drop. And they're going to ring up Gabe on that one. He was trying to hold himself up, but Randolph crowd screaming for a call. They get it. Gabe, Gabe was trying to hold himself up. You get that much body going, that much muscle, that much mass, it's hard to stop on a dime, you know, but that's what it is. Gene Dufresne, let's go catch from Nevada, class of 74. Oh, yeah. People tuning in, Austin to Boston, Maine to Spain tonight on the YouTube. 238 watchers, right? Don't tell me that, Michael. I'm going to get nervous. Inside, off the glass. Luke Tupper Shepard. Gives Randolph a lead, 22-21 with 316. Moody, Brendan Moody answers that back with a three. Puts us back up two with 309. Folks, get your popcorn ready. What a game. This is what you expect, playoff basketball here at the Den. Fontanella from the foul line, sinks it. Scoring, heating up now, knotted up 24 apiece. Moody throws up a shot, he gets fouled by Fontanella. Fontanella second is going to send uh, Moody to the line with 2.54 left to go here in the first half and a tie ball game of 24 apiece. Brendan, good on his first one. Chase Gardner and Fontanella out. Moody's second shot. Hits the net. Five points for the junior. Two-point lead for the Cats. 2.54 left to go in the first half. Yeah. 
Hanford inside, back out. Back inside, splits the defense. Jack White trying to get in there. Here's Moody back out. X wide open for a three. Uh, I have never seen X mix that bad. Morrison there for the rebound and the shot, though, to follow up. Increases the lead back to four. 2-10 left to go in the first half. Coach Jeremy Rilling wants a timeout taken with 2-12 left, and it catch up 28-24 in a spirited, fun basketball game here at the Den. Let's see. We've got a minute. What do I have? What do I have? Oh, I have to give a shout-out to one of the coolest girls I know, my son's girlfriend, Kaylee Mayo. You want to know how cool she is, Michael? This girl is so cool that I had to go out and buy a white Subaru Forester this week just so I could be like her because she has one, and I still pale in comparison. That's how cool Kaylee is. Thanks for watching, Kaylee. So Cats looking to punch their ticket to the odd. Again, Randolph putting up a fight. Doing all they can to keep us from there. They came to play. Right up Interstate 89, then Route 14 to Hardwick. Let's see what Jeremy Rilling drew up with 2.12 left and his team trailing by four. Hanford looking inside, back. Morrison with the block. Xavier Hill up ahead. Here's Laflamme. Had an open hoop, but closing fast in there was uh, the Randolph defender. Sully had an open lane for a second, but man, that whoever it was, I didn't get a number, but he closed in fast. 145, let's go in the first half. Cut inside, turnaround. Doesn't go, rebound Morrison. Here comes Xavier. Sully, drop pass, Morgan Mitchett, nice. There we go. If one of the Mitchets doesn't get you, the other one will. Here's Hanford back inside. Was looking for Jack White, but Hazen with the turnover. Underneath, doesn't go, rebound, X. We're gonna have a foul. Randolph getting a little frustrated. Foul called on Ethan Davignon, his third. One away left to go in the first half. Cats up six. Xavier Hill. 17 first half points so far for Xavier Hill. We've got Hanford, Luke, Luke Tucker, Shepard, Fontanella. Trying to get the other numbers here. I'm having a hard time, I'll admit, I'm having a hard time spotting their numbers. The blue on the blue. Xavier Hill, 18 points. It's kind of messing me up a little bit up here. I like the colors, though. It's just hard to spot them, you know? That one, nice uh, rebound back by Tanner Langlois. Turn around, wide open underneath. Ryan, the little lion, Morrison. 40 seconds left, catch up 34-26. A little bit of a run. Let's see if uh, Randolph plays for last shot or if they're going to try and score quick. And, yeah, he's way wide open. Why not take the shot? The only shot you don't make is the one you don't take, Luke Tucker Shepard. You took it and you made it. Xavier Hill. Going to go to the line one more time.
foul is on Tanner Langlois, his second. Xavier Hill exemplifying why free throw shooting is crucial. Six points from the free throw line from Xavier Hill tonight in the first half. 18 seconds left. Cats up 36-28. Here's Fontanella inside. Wants to come back outside. Hanford at the top of the key. You got two seconds. They're going to have to hurry. Fontanella throws up one off balance. Doesn't go. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading 36-28. But I'll tell you, Randolph has given us a game tonight. I wouldn't go anywhere just yet. Second half, if it's even half as thrilling as the first, is going to be great. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable. That's streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Michael on tech, Casey on camera. We'll be back at the start of the second half. All right, second half about to get underway here at the Den. Hazy Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. Lance over the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Michael on tech, Casey on camera. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazy Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTC, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Score 36-28. It's been a great, great game. And while I have time, because I don't think I'm going to get this in anywhere else, Michael, it was on this day in, uh, in uh, 1975, I believe, 75 or 76, Led Zeppelin released their double album, Physical Graffiti. Why am I bringing this up? Well, if you've been here live to hear the boys' intros, the Music Bed is the Led Zeppelin song, Cashmere, which came out on that album. So, there you go. An interesting note, none of the members of Led Zeppelin ever went to Cashmere. Robert Plant wrote the song after a trip to Morocco. Go figure. Second half, Randolph opening things up. And I'll tell you, we had a lot of people. We've still got a lot of people. This place is mobbed. It is a mob scene up here at the Den for this quarterfinal game. And so far, we have been treated to a dandy. Cats up 36-28 right now. Xavier Hill with 20 points in the first half. We've got people chiming in on the YouTube chat. I'll try to get to them in a second here. There's a shot, and we're going to have a foul. Called on Brendan Moody, and that will send Chase Higgins to the line, who got taken out a lot of the first half. He got in foul trouble early. And Higgins is, is one of their big players. <laughs> Heather Hill, our six-year-old sees her Grammy great front row, thinks she's a celebrity for being on TV. Go Hazen, there you go. Higgins with a second free throw, 36-30. Gardner back harassing Hill up the court, just keeping him in play. Gabe Mitchell. Brendan Moody gets it over. Sullivan Laflamme going inside to X. And foul called. That's going to be on Davignon, I believe. Rilling not happy with the call. Davignon's fourth foul. Said it in the first half. I'll say it again. Anyway, referees are calling things pretty tight tonight. Morrison underneath. Up. Can't get that one to go. Gets his own rebound. And try and go up. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow. Gives the ball to the Cats. Elliot Kimball watching from our nation, nation's capital. Davignon's going to go out. Tanner Langlois in. Rachel Brown go Wildcats. Rachel and Kenny Brown tuning in from the Alamo City of San Antonio. Down in Texas. Morrison, shot in the foul. A 
girls team up, letting him know that he can't do that. Girls will be in playoff action here from the den next week. Seedings are going to come out Monday, I've been told. Morrison, second free throw, strong. Rebound, Xavier Hill loses the handle. What Gardner picks it up. Going underneath, back here, Shepard. This is Higgins. Chase Higgins inside, Moody on him, double team. Back out, that would have been a three-pointer, I think, if it would have gone for Langlois. Here comes X, pass over Morrison. I said it in the first half, and I will say it now. I am in awe of what Xavier Hill is doing out, done out here, doing out here tonight, done the last few games. Fontanella back, LaFlam defending. Cats have increased their lead to 10, 40-30 with 6-10 left to go here in the third. Trying to give and go, nice, nice idea by Randolph. Comes Moody, Ducks throws up a short one, doesn't go, that one comes up short. Randolph with a rebound. Three-pointer, three-pointer goes for Chase Gardner. And I believe it was Coach Hill took a timeout. Or no, was it Randolph? I saw the referee point to Randolph. I don't, I don't know who took the timeout. I was looking at my notes. Uh, 40 to 33 is the score. And while we're, let's see, we run down the YouTube chat here. Gene Dufresne from Nevada. Uh, Christopher Rattler checking in. James Salvis. Thank you, James. Tuned in as well. So look at it. We got Nevada. We got Texas. We had one from Indiana, right? Yep, Michael Morse looking for a good game tonight. Yeah. Our count. 243. Nice. 243 tuned in on the YouTube. We got a packed house up here. We got Hazen up by seven. 535 left to go in the third. Looking to go down to the Barry Odd one more time. Xavier Hill inside. The X-Man. 22 points on the night. Shea Fontanella gets it over. Hanford. Hanford. Trying to decide what he's going to do. Shepard back to Fontanella. Fontanella, a long three. Shea Fontanella, his first points of the second half, gives him five for the junior. Makes it a 42 36 game. This three ball kind of keeping Randolph into it. See what Hazen does to answer back. Sully, handoff to X. And we got one of those moving screens on Ryan Morrison, his first. 4.46 left to go in the third. Cats up 42-36. Fontanella on the inbound is going to get it to Hanford. Back to Fontanella. Going inside, taking a shot. Strong rebound. Morrison gets it to X. Hanford right there, all over him. Morrison gets it up to Morgan Mitchell. Comes back out. Cats will set it up. Coach Hill giving him the thumbs down. Got to be some kind of secret code, I bet. Inside Morrison, is he going to turn around? He can't. Too much height back in there against him. Morgan Mitchell dips in, doesn't get the hoop, but he gets his own rebound, brings it back out. Nice play by Morgan to save that possession. Could have easily been a turnover. I tell you, Morgan and Gabe Mitchell bring their lunch pails every game. Workers. As is Sullivan Laflamme. That's burning a lot of clock. We're down to 3.30 now. Keep walking, Blue. Keep walking. 
looking inside. Mitchell draws the foul. Man, after all that, we're going to draw a foul. Camden Brissett in for Randolph, a mountain of a man underneath. That's why Ryan couldn't get the turnaround. Brissett was like right there earlier in that possession. Gabe Mitchell at the line. Senior. Strong. I had some stats. John Lucier was talking to me about the free throw contest. We were we were praising that up and talking it up there for a while. The the uh, free throw contest out here at Housing. There was 12 categories. Had 10 winners. Sent nine down to the state championship down to Virgins. 42-36 is your score. Randolph will retain possession. Moody in, Sullivan Laflamme out. Fontanella, bullet inside to Brissett. Brissett turn around, draws the foul. Camden Brissett, a junior. Off on that one. Coach Hill wants the boys to box out. You got Morrison, you got the two Mitches, you got X under there, yeah, they'll box out. No need to though as he sinks the free throw. 250 left to go here in the third. Cats up 42-37. Trying to go inside. The good defense there by Chase Gardner. Creates a turnover. Here's Gardner looking to go coast to coast. Comes up short. Gonna call Mitchett on the foul over the back. <clears throat> Hazen crowd not liking that crowd. Randolph loving it. Two thirty-five left to go in the third. Long shot, three-pointer. Hanford, Ben Hanford, his first points of the game. Cuts the lead to two. And they're gonna call X on the charge. Like I said, Brissett, just a mountain of a man. And Coach Hill wants a timeout to talk things over as that 10-point lead is chipped down to two. With 2.24 left to go here in the third. Xavier Hill called on that charge, but set underneath there, established position. He weren't going nowhere. X went down hard. Wow. I'll try and run down a few point totals for you. These are completely unofficial. Uh, Shea Fontanella with five. Chase Higgins with four. Uh, Luke Tucker Shepard with four. Tanner Langlois with four. Ethan Dagonov with eight, Chase Gardner with nine, Jack White with four for Randolph. Over for the Hazen side, it's Brendan Moody with five, Jamison Lamar with two, X Xavier Hill 22, Sullivan Laflamme two, Gabe Mitchell three, Ryan Morrison eight. As unofficial as it'll get, Randolph crowd comes alive. It's time for the, the cat crew over there to answer back. Let's get our go, come on, let's go, let's go. Trying to trying to get my charges going here. I don't I don't like being out shouted out up here at the at the broadcast position by the visiting crowd, you know. Brissett on the outside swings it over. Hanford. Hanford with Xavier Hill on him. Hanford dips inside, chase back out. Brissett, three if it goes. Strong rebound. Randolph back underneath. Defense swarms on Hanford. And they're going to ring up Morgan as Hanford goes down. 156 left to go in the third. Hanford getting up slowly. But he's up. And he's going to go to the line. With a chance to tie this game with 156 left to go in the third.
Hanford, first free throw, good. I have seen games won and lost at the free throw line. And we've left a few at the free throw line tonight. Hanford, second one in and out. Meyer saw that there was a defender right there. He was trying to swing it back to Xavier. He saw there was a blue jersey right there, so he was just trying to direct it back. Instead, we've got a turnover. And uh, Ryan Morrison and Sullivan Laflamme and Brendan Moody and Fenton Meyer out. Coach Hill's got his bulk lineup in there right now. He's got his heavyweights with the, with the Mitchett boys, Morrison, Laflamme, and Xavier Hill. Morrison gets the reach. Brissett gets it back. Fires over. Fontanella open for the three. In and out. Fight underneath. Randolph's going to retain possession. 136 left to go in the third. Randolph on the inbounds. Fontanena fiddles and diddles. Back, three-pointer. And Randolph is just taking the lead on Gardner's three-pointer. Randolph up two. 118 left to go in the third. Quarterfinal game. Winner goes to the odd. Loser goes home. We really need to get our student section going over there. Mitch, it turns that one over. Back here, shot short, rebound Morrison. Gets it to X, up through the defense. Brissett goes down, X, spin to the hoop, gets stripped, gets his own rebound, back up again, Xavier Hill. Tie game, 44 piece, 42 seconds left here in the third. Brissett to Higgins, Chase Higgins. Green set, fights his way past that. 22 seconds, Fontanella with Morgan Mitchett on him. Fontanella tries to go inside, Mitchett all over, turns around, takes it off balance. Fontanella, nice move, big shot to give Randolph a two point lead with 10 seconds left in the third. X gets the call with 4.2 left in the third. 4.2 seconds left. Hazen will inbounds underneath their own basket. Brendan Moody in. I'm calling a Moody three-pointer right now. Moody. Puts it up off balance, short. Drew the foul. Foul called on Tanner Langlois, his fourth, with three seconds left to go in the third. That's gonna send Moody to the line. Moody, first free throw, strong. Not liking the points we're leaving at the free throw line tonight. Moody, second shot, good. Brings the catch to within one. Long three-pointer at the end, off the top of the hoop, and at the end of three, Randolph's come back to take the lead here, 46-45 in this quarterfinal game here at the Den. Hanging tough with the Cats. Cats had a 10-point lead at one point. You're watching Hazen Wildcat basketball on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnst.org. Jumpstart your future. I think we're in for a barn burner here to finish up on this. You ready for this, Michael? Inter International Sword Swallowers Day. 
It's also National Trading Card Day. International Tongue Twister Contest Day. I don't have a tongue twister. And it's National Tortilla Chip Day, and I hope everybody's enjoying some tortillas and some chips and some dip and some salsa for this game because, man, don't go anywhere. I believe we are about to see a fourth quarter of epic proportions here at the Den tonight. Randolph number eight seed, Hazen number one. Winner faces the winner of the Winooski Virgens game that's being played tonight at the Barry Auditorium next Thursday, February 29th. Hill hands off to Laflam. Back out. The pistol. Short. Rebound Randolph. Inside. Wasn't ready for it. Chase Gardner wasn't ready for it. Turnover. X to Laflam. Catch back up. 47 46. 7 14 left to go in your ball game. Now the student section alive. Inside, short shots. Miss, rebound, Laflamme. Here comes X. Gabe Mitchett draws the foul. Gonna put the workhorses in now. Now we need to hit our foul shots. Not liking it. Too many points, too many points left at the foul line tonight. I haven't kept tra track of our misses, but we've missed more than usual, I'm gonna say. Mitchett off on that one. Gabe Mitchett hasn't scored tonight, but I mean, he does stuff away from the ball. He rebounds, he creates turnovers, he's underneath working. But man, two points would have been huge right there. Turnover. Lamar here to the X. X surveying. He's got Gardner on him. The pistol. Jamison Lamar gets it over to Laflamme, over to X. Mitchell. Laflamme back over Morrison. It's Gabe Mitchell. Morrison, back to the pistol. Hazen, looking to create something. Morrison backing in underneath. Can't get free though, they're double teaming him underneath. And turn around, Mitchell inside. Just can't get it to fall. Gabe Mitchell doing everything that he usually does inside. He just can't get the shots to fall tonight. He had 19 in the last game, I believe, against Stowe. All from like the same area as where he's going tonight. Tipped out by Hazen. 5.32 left to go in the ball game. Hazen clinging to that one point lead. Last two possessions have come up short for him. Back out, three pointer. Doesn't go, rebound Morrison. Be careful, boys. Xavier Hill over on the far side. Pistol, pass over, Laflamme open for the three. Doesn't go off the rim, rebound Randolph. X back there, tipping away, Xavier Hill. Got a hand on the pass, up ahead. Laflamme's gonna come back. Hill over to Mitchell. Five minutes left. And yeah, you gotta call a foul there as uh, Gardner was Reaching, to say the least, on that one. Chase Gardner, his first.
Gardner's playing X tough. I'm gonna call him again. And Luke Tucker Shepard's gonna check in. And Chase Higgins is gonna come out. See the referee talking to uh, Gardner over there. I believe that's, uh, that was John Diebold talking to him, I think. Or it might have been uh, Rob Green, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to tell from where I'm at. Anyways, no scoring for the last couple of minutes. We've got 4.33 left. Cats still up one. And they're going to call X on a charge. A little too vigorous going in on that one. And Coach Jeremy really wants to take a timeout with 4.17 left to go in the game. And uh, like I said, we haven't seen any scoring for a good two minutes or so now. It's been sort of a defensive turnover type battle here. Uh, we left some points at the free throw line. We did leave two points at the free throw line. But uh, with 4.17 left, Cats up one point in this quarter final game. What a game. Once again, Lady Cats will be in action next week here at the Den. We're going to have at least one game, hoping for two. And it's going to be Ben Hanford on the inbounds. Back over to Fontanella. Here's Hanford. Fontanella inside. Turnaround, doesn't go, rebound goes back to Randolph. That one does a three-pointer. Man, did he go in there. Bunch of, they're banging. That time they let him play. X, Xavier Hill, 26 points now and a three-point lead. There were some bodies going hard on that last rebound down here. Referee's letting him play on that one. Fontanella takes a three. Shea Fontanella, second three-pointer of the second half, ties this game up at 49 a pop with 3.30 left to go. Moody. Looking inside, wants X getting in front of him. That was Tucker Shepard getting in front of the pass. Knocks it out, it'll be Hazen Ball underneath. 319 left, game tied. X, turn, hangs, doesn't get it to go. Rebound, Fontanella. Pass over. He was trying to get it to Tucker Shepard. Tucker Shepard wasn't ready for him. Hit him right in the face with it. Nice cut by Tucker Shepard. Just pass was just a little too hot. Morgan Mitchell. And a foul called on Luke Tucker Shepard, his first. 2.52 left to go in the game. Tied up 49 apiece. Xavier Hill inside, looking to go inside to Morrison. Who's trying to touch pass it inside to Morrison. And Fontanella call for the charge that time. X put, putting his body on the line on that call. Got in there, established position. Had it for a split second long enough to get the call. It was close. Randolph on the press. Cats will work the press break. They pull off the press. Gardner. Gives chase to Xavier Hill. Brendan Moody over to Morgan. Mitchell. 2.30 left to go. Your game is still tied. 
And Hazen turnover right there. Gabe Mitch is going to check in. Ryan Morrison out. Morrison with eight points on the night. Be nice to see Gabe break his scoring break on the next Hazen offensive possession, that's for sure. Inside, back out, Fontanella open for the three, he's been hot, doesn't go, battle underneath, Xavier Hill makes the grab. And foul calls on Tucker Shepard, and that's gonna send Xavier Hill to the line with a chance to break this tie with 2.12 left to go. 49-49 your score. Xavier Hill, first free throw. 27 points for the senior tonight. Seven points in the second half. He's been held, they've kept him pretty much in check here in the second half. Huge, huge free throws right there. 2.10 left, 51-49 your score. We've seen Randolph hot with that three ball tonight, though. There's the three-pointer block! Xavier Hill! He makes shots, he makes passes, he draws charges, he blocks shots. 2.01 left. Cats up two. Ben Hanford on the inbounds for Randolph. Gets it to Gardner. Gardner block it inside, taken away. Randa, uh, Hazen with the turnover. Coach Hill wants them to settle down, burn some clock. 150 left. That two point lead clinging. Morgan Mitchett gets it over. Xavier Hill to Gabe. The sure hands team out there right now. Sullivan Laflamme, Xavier Hill. 130 left. Moody to Laflamme. One twenty-three. Fontanella all over Moody, all over Brendan Moody, and there's a foul. Ben Hanford in his second, and that'll send Morgan Mitchell to the line. The sophomore shooting couple of the biggest free throws of his career so far. Chance to make this a two possession game if he can nail them both. Huge, huge. And coach Jeremy Rilling wants to take a timeout. He's gonna ice Morgan a little bit on this second free throw. With 119 left, Cats up three now. Morgan Mitchell's gonna go back out for one more free throw with a chance to make it a two possession game with 119 left. And yeah, there we go. That is playoff basketball here at the Den, Michael. Randolph crowd comes alive now. 119 left to go in the ball game. Quarterfinal action. Hazen up three. Morgan Mitchell with one more free throw. Off, keeps it a one possession game. Defense! 
110. Cats up three. Gardner. Laflamme ran into Shepard, no call. Here's Hanford, throws it away. Hanford wants that one back. Hanford a senior. Gotta feel bad for Ben Hanford. 55 seconds. There's Moody. X. Moody, 38 seconds. Three point lead. Hold the ball, make them foul you. There's the foul. And Xavier Hill at the line as the foul is called on Chase Gardner. He's in once again, try and make this a two possession game. Xavier Hill. Second one rolls in. 32 seconds. Cats up five. Randolph gonna have to move fast. And dip inside. And we got a foul called. Foul called on Morgan Mitchell. Cats still with fouls to give. 22 seconds left. Tucker Shepard on the inbounds. 20 seconds. Do anything but foul, boys. I'm gonna call the block. He was trying to draw the charge. Gabe Mitchell inside, trying to draw the charge. Don't go anywhere. Chase Gardner. Gardner, clutch. Rilling's gonna take a timeout. Gardner with a chance to make another free throw here and get this back to a one possession game with 17 seconds left. Let's see what happens. The crowd is into it tonight. And we have been treated to a fantastic, fantastic basketball game. Once again, Randolph came in number eight seed. We're number one. And we played them twice. January 10th, we won 83-42. February 14th, we won 66-41. Not the case tonight, boy. The ghost came to play. All right, Chase Gardner at the line for the Galloping Ghosts. He's a junior. With a chance to get this back to a one possession game with a make here. And he does. 54 51, 17 seconds, and a quick foul. Higgins with a quick foul. That's his fourth. Pretty much academic with 15.7 left, but it will send Xavier Hill to the line. Hill, first one, clutch. Kid's got ice, ice water in his veins. Five. 
Six points from the free throw line in the second half for Xavier Hill. Long three-pointer. That one's off, nine seconds left. Rebound, Hazen. Seven point four left, five point lead for the Cats. Sullivan Laflamme. Remember watching Sully when he was a Lakeview Laker. Tara Winslow, yay Hazen, go Wildcats. On our YouTube chat, Laflamme, strong on the first one. Strong on his second one, rebound Randolph, five seconds. Fontanella takes a long three-pointer that's short. Rebound Xavier Hill, and we're going to the odd one more time as your Hazen Union Wildcats have defeated the Randolph Galloping Ghosts by a final score of 56 to 51 to punch their ticket to the Barry Auditorium next Thursday, February 29th, 6.30 p.m. against the winner of tonight's Winooski Virgins game. I do not know who is winning or leading in that game. We'll have to check it out. But the Cats go back to the odd one more time. And I'll tell you what, hats off to Randolph. They came up and they gave us all the game we wanted. That was a cheek squeezer tonight here from the den. Lance Hall with the call.